Keep me safe, Soy Flock! Keep me safe! You can't let that purple thing show up again and kid li kidnap little old me! Alright, whatever. Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Peach! Last time, we went through a lot of inter, uh, intermissionary stuff, got Princess Peach in our party, and, uh, she escaped the, uh, the darkness through unknown means. Today, we are going to find the heart pillar. And to do that, we need to switch into 3D and put this old key into the thing. So, uh, this is pretty cool, huh? Now we just need to figure out where this uh, heart pillar goes. Where this heart pillar done be. Where did heart pillar done be? Oh, let's read that. Let's read that sign. Flip side outskirts ahead. Monster advisory. Ooh, spoopy. It's very spoopy. Uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> I'm too fast for you. Um... I forget if there's something down here. Nope. Just gotta check. Like I said in the last video, uh, well, not in the last video, but one in the previous videos, uh, sometimes there is stuff hidden in bottomless pits, and, uh, in order to see if there is, you just gotta check. I can make it! I can make it! You can't tell me what to do! Okay. <clears throat> Sorry if my, uh, throat sounds a little... Sorry if my voice sounds a little hoarse right now. It's, uh... I got something stuck in my throat. Haha, <laughs> I told you guys. And you doubted me. We got a... Marvuli card? I think that's somebody we haven't met yet. And the Merlin card. That person we have met. Point. Wee Point. Point. Ah. Sometimes the action command doesn't work. Hey, hero. Feeling stumped? Try flipping. It's pretty basic. Oh, how I wish that were true when I was younger. When I was a young man, I didn't read. I still don't read, but at least now I read in video games. When I was a young man of, like, 15. <laughs> we are great! We're like, we're like frosted flakes. We're great! Alright, what you want to do is switch into 3D here, jump up here, jump up here, flip back to 2D here, switch to Peach here. Heart pillar ahead, the best route. Do you ask? Float across the stone tops. Well, Peach is a girl. She does love tops. Then again, maybe not, considering uh, people say that she's dating uh, Mario, but whatever. So, Princess Peach, will you do the honors with your heart power? Get it? If she actually does have power heart power, that's the canonical reason why Bowser keeps kidnapping her. And she's putting a pure heart into the heart pillar. I guess on that subject, I should talk about Princess Peach's characterization in this game. I'm not gonna get too deep into spoilers, but, um, yeah, I like how she is represented here. In just about every other Mario game, I don't, it's not that I hate her or anything, it's just like, oh, she is just so boring because she's just 
the damsel in distress. And, uh, you know, that's kind of funny, I guess, for a little while, especially in, like, some of the 3D games where it's like, okay, it's it's been played up for laughs, but, um, you know, it's... I don't know. I, I get tired of the same old shtick. It's why I don't care for most Mario games. Um, but this game, I am going the wrong way. Uh, but this game is, uh, super fun to me, because I, I love the writing. And where the heck am I going? Hopefully I don't have to voice Bowser anytime soon. I don't think my voice can take that. <laughs> With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again bound for adventure. This time our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer, Merle. If Merlin was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of dastardly Count Black awaited him at every turn. Chapter 2-1! Bogging to Merleys! Hey everybody! Oh wait, we already did that. Your heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways. Let's go. Okay. Excuse me, Tippy. You mispronounced that. It is pronounced Let's Go. It's a Mario time. Super Paper Mario. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do that. You got a turtley leaf, a burly leaf that reduces all damage by half. That is a new enemy. A spiked Goomba. We can't do anything to kill those. Oh, Mario can't make it. Let's jump out of here. And see if Princess Peach can do something with her floaty abilities. And, uh... Man, I love the background. It's like one of those little slit things. It's just like... It's like the world is rotating around, you know? And that is another new enemy, a Cheap Cheap. They are really weak. Um, I don't think... Do we, do we have to worry about Princess... No, no, all the character shapes share the same level. I think we're gonna play as Princess Peach a little while longer, because, uh, her... her expertise in floating, because she is an airhead, is, um... is kind of needed here. I think she jumps higher than Mario. Maybe. But, uh... Hmm. Oh! Oh, oh! They are very, very tricky. Point. Point. Haha, <laughs> get out of here. Oh wait, I said I was gonna play as Peach, and I'm gonna stick to my guns! My guns... Ah, crap! <laughs> I'll see you guys back up there. I'm a back! I just want to get as many points as possible. Uh, you know, because leveling up is a thing in this game. You know, we're at level 3 right now. And, uh, you know, in my original playthrough of this, I can't platform. In my original playthrough of this game, I did not understand how this game worked, as I said in, I think, the second episode, is what I said it in. And, uh, you know, I thought it was just, oh, it's, it's like Mario, but it's like a little flat and papery, that's kind of cool. But, um, you know, I didn't really understand RPGs, like, I, I thought all RPGs were basically, level up! I thought all RPGs were basically, uh... Pokemon. Ooh, a treasure chest! Um... I 
Pressed up, why aren't you working? We got the door key! A door to a... A key to a door in Gloom Valley. Ooh. Whee! Maybe it's this door that the key goes to. I certainly look up. Yay! I certainly was hoping that that was the case. And so, you see those Mario pills, the, the buddy pills, right? Want to see what happens when Peach grabs them? She gets little 8 bit peaches! She sir. Hey, wait, wanna see Mario's dream? Mario is surrounded by multiple versions of Peach! Now he can get kissed on the nose from, like. How many do we have now? Stop killing my Peach! By. Two, three. By six! Versions of Peach. Five versions of Peach. Stop killing. Four versions of Peach. And, uh. No! 8 bit Peach, you will be missed! Okay. Uh, can we go down here? Is it. No. I will admit, I haven't played this game in like a year. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fairly simple game. I don't think, uh, a whole lot of, uh, replaying this is, uh, necessary. Boink! Come back down. How about 200 points, baby! 200 points. Wait, wait, wait. Princess Peach will follow Mario to the ends of the earth. That is something they are going to do until... Oops. Until... Can I do this right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Does that count as murder or suicide? <laughs> No, seriously, I'm asking a genuine question. Does that count as murder or suicide? Because it was a Peach. It was Princess Peach who did that. And killed Princess Peach. So, is it... Is it murder or suicide? I've been asking that question for a long time now. Like, if you go to an alternate dimension and kill that alternate version of yourself, is it murder or suicide? You know, I'm asking the very important questions here. Because we're going to alternate dimensions. That is a possibility. Mega Princess Peach! Oh, did I win? <laughs> I just want to play that when this uh, ends off. Point. Ah! Alright, let's go. Let's to go. Hmm. Ooh, the slow flower. The slow flower. It temporarily slows time to a crawl. You'll earn triple points and coins while it's active. Oh, guys, it's Super Nintendo. I am here as Princess Peach. I have no idea why I was talking like that. Yay, the coin flower! Coins. Coins! The princess needs her money! The princess needs her money! Because the prince. Oh. How dare you harm a princess! And, uh, the princess needs her money, matey! I've been watching a lot of One Piece lately, so I am talking like Goldie Roger. Ah! Goldie Roger! You never know what you're gonna deal with when you deal with gold, matey. 
It's just fun talking like a pirate. Ooh, we got the Firebirds. That's awesome. Uh, let's kill that Squiglet. And, uh, there we go. Now let's go down the pipe. Let's go down the pipe! Hmm. This room. There's something about this room. Maybe... There it is. There's a switch. Even if you can't see it, you should still be able to activate it. Point. There's a second pipe! Below the other pipe! Ooh, this enemy. I'm gonna wait until this thing fully, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna wait until there are as many of them as possible. And I'm gonna take this one for safekeeping. Alright, I'm trying to wait. Ooh, another big chest. Maybe I'll finally get the Master Sword and show Link what's up. Shaboom! Good vibes. Them vibes set me, set me off my blow stuff up sensors. You like exploding? So pow! I ain't sense real good blow up stuff vibes in 1500 years. So boom! I gotta check those vibes out like a little. I gotta check those vibes out a little more close like. Scrack! Check it out! Just answer a couple questions real quick. Saplam! Okay, Sapoom? Here we go, Saplamo! You stay up wondering if anyone else gives presents to Santa. Totally. For some reason, you clean your room before a test. Uh-huh. When someone says, let's just be friends, you think, yeah, whatever. And how? You don't really understand why I'm asking all these questions, all these weird questions. Truer than true. <laughs> you think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience. Oh yeah! You once put on a shirt inside out, but it didn't bother you reversing it before going out. But you did, but didn't bother. Uh, yeah, I've done that a couple of times. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, but when you're tired, you want to wake up. Uh, no, I, I fall asleep pretty easily. I don't really sleep. I don't really, uh, stay awake all that often, so, whatever. You're getting real tired of these questions. You said it, not me. Got it, got it, got it! Sapoom! You got some real tasty vibes, Sablam! My mind's made up now, Sabla pow You guys are worthy of my power! By the power of Castle Grayskull, I have the power! The explosive pixel named Boomer became your friend. Use Boomer's power to blow up foes and destroy blocks. When you want to switch pixels, just go into the pixel menu and pick another one. Each second explodes into the next. Sapamo! Bombs away, Saboom! So, Boomer! He's pretty self-explanatory. He's a bomb. He doesn't hurt Mario, or Peach, or anyone. He only hurts enemies. Uh, and he's a bomb. You gotta watch it card! I have to watch that watch it watch it card! Oops. Let's, uh, hmm. This is the card menu where you can look at your uh, different cards. I'm just gonna see the the watch it card, because I, I like old man watch it. Oh 
Man Watch. There he is, number 202. Old Man Watch is the crotchery mayor of Yoldtown. His job is keeping people from going to the ruins. You know, lawsuits and all that. Watch it! Uh. You'll never know I'm here. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys back at the top. You know the irony of, uh, of the Watch It card? You know what the people, what my viewers aren't gonna do? They're not gonna watch it! Yeah. Um, I think it's this one we have to go into. This enemy! I don't know what they're called, but the only way to beat them is to throw Boomer into them. Oh. Coins! There's always coins! I need to have the coins! <laughs> yep, see, they only respond to uh, being blown up from the inside. Where's this go? Oh. Well, how about you? Oh, I already went in here. Aha! Now we have a way to kill you. Uh, you can- he can blow up on his own, or you can just press the one button, which is what I've been doing pretty much the whole time. That was awfully rumbly. Something must have happened outside. You better watch it! You hear me? You hear me, Goomba? You better watch it! You did. Okay, I'll stop doing the watch it voice. That better, I better stop doing a watching voice before I watch it. Hello, Charbel, you floating butt enemy. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> hey, look, it's Luigi's house back there. Luigi! Alright, so I guess that'll end up the video. Uh, you know, we got a new party member in the form of Boomer! And, uh, we're one step closer to getting that pure heart. So, next time on Super Paper Mario, we see if we can get into Luigi's house. See you guys then. End of chapter!